What is the IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes? This interactive electronic periodic table has been developed as an IUPAC project by a team of isotope scientists and educators. This free learning resource is accessible to users around the globe. The accompanying website, isotopesmatter.com, will guide you through the resources. What will you find? On each element tile, you will find information about each of the element's isotopes that are used in the calculation of atomic weight. On the back of each tile, you will learn more about why isotopes matter by exploring one interesting application of isotopes. For example, migration patterns in birds, like the double-crested cormorant, have been studied by analyzing sulfur isotope ratios in feathers. Click on More Information to learn more about the applications of several of the element's isotopes. Here, you'll find a chart of all known stable and radioactive isotopes and practical applications of the isotopes in many different fields of science. Why are there atomic weight intervals? Atomic weight is calculated from the relative abundance and atomic mass of each stable and long-lived radioactive isotope of an element. Although the atomic mass of an isotope never varies, in some cases the relative abundance of the different isotopes does vary in normal materials. This variation gives us powerful tools to tease out information about climate trends, food adulteration, forensic science, doping in sports, and the origin of substances like methane. When the relative abundance of isotopes of an element vary, the atomic weight of the element varies as a result. Therefore, atomic weights are not always constants of nature. In these cases, the atomic weight is shown on the periodic table as an interval. What is on each element tile? When first opening an element tile, the standard atomic weight appears in black on the bottom left-hand corner. On any element with two or more isotopes, an isotope selector is given on the right-hand side. Each of the different colors represents a different isotope. When selecting an isotope, the mass number will appear to the upper left of the symbol. This number represents the sum of the isotope's neutrons and protons. Below it appears the atomic number. This is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, which is the same for all isotopes of a particular element. Below the pie chart appear the two factors that are used to determine the atomic weight of an element, the percent abundance and the atomic mass of the specified isotope. These atomic masses are calculated relative to the carbon-12 atom which is given an atomic mass of exactly 12. The atomic masses of isotopes that are shown in black denote that the isotope is stable, meaning that no radioactive decay has been experimentally detected. Atomic masses shown in red designate radioactive isotopes. If the abundance of the radioactive isotope contributes significantly to the atomic weight and the radioactive isotope is long-lived, it is included in the calculation of standard atomic weight. What do the colors of element tiles mean? Pink is the background color for an element if two or more isotopes are used to determine its standard atomic weight and the variation in isotopic abundances in normal materials is large and well known. The standard atomic weight is given as upper and lower bounds within square brackets. In normal materials, chlorine's atomic weight values can be as low as 35.446 and as high as 35.457. If the isotopic compositions or the source of a sample is unknown, a conventional atomic weight is provided in white for the purpose of doing calculations. Chlorine is assigned a conventional atomic weight of 35.45.
Yellow is the background color for an element if two or more isotopes are used to determine its atomic weight, but the upper and lower bounds of the standard atomic weight have not been assigned by IUPAC. The standard atomic weight is given as a single value with an uncertainty due to both measurement and isotopic abundance variations. This uncertainty is indicated in parentheses at the end of the value. Blue is the background color for an element if only one isotope is used to determine its standard atomic weight. The standard atomic weight is invariant and is given as a single value with an IUPAC evaluated measurement uncertainty. White is the background color for an element if it has no standard atomic weight because all of its isotopes are radioactive and no isotope occurs in normal materials with the characteristic isotopic composition from which a standard atomic weight can be determined. To use this interactive electronic periodic table of the elements and isotopes, visit isotopesmatter.com.